a warm greetings to one and all listening here. I am Suresh, Assistant Professor, Department of Civil Engineering, Hindustan College of Engineering and Technology, Coimbatore. Today, I am going to take the lecture on the topic, definition and divisions of surveying from the subject surveying. This video lecture or uh, this PPT is tough with the uh, contents definitions of uh, surveying and the objective objects of surveying and what are the main divisions of a surveying those kind of uh, topics we are going to discuss in this ppt or uh, in this lecture so without any further delay we will move on to the slides first one is definition of survey art of uh, the definition survey is defined as the art of determining either linear or angular measurement or both to find the relative position of various points on the earth surface uh, so it is nothing but uh, fixing a point on your earth surface with the help of linear measurement linear means uh, length or a distance by using length measurement or a distance measurement we are going to fix one point at the same time we are going to refer with that an angular measurement also angular measurement means the angles may be calculated with the help of compass so fixing a point on the earth surface with a uh, two dimensional manner so that is called survey so art, art of determining the relative position of various points on the earth surface is called as surveying so this is a basic definition about the surveying uh, next one is uh, object of surveying so to prepare the object of a surveying is to prepare plan or map of the area surveyed showing all the features which is already existing in the site or a uh, field so when the area are very small at the same time the scale which its result plotted is large then it is known as plan so when the area surveyed is large and the scale to which its results plotted is small then it is known as map at last preparing of a map or plan is the ultimate aim or object of the survey so next one uh, the main divisions uh, main divisions surveying may be divided into two main classes first one is flying survey second one is geodetic survey since the shape of the earth is spherical the line connecting any two points on the earth surface not a straight line it is a curve when a survey extends over a large area or when the survey accuracy is needed the curvature of the earth has also be taken into account for a small distance the difference between the arc length and the straight length is very very small so we can neglect that so uh, coming to uh, divisions first one is plane surveying so plane surveying uh, the surveying where the effect of curvature on the earth is neglected and the earth surface is treated as a plane is called plane surveying the degree of accuracy in this type of surveying is comparatively low generally when the surveying conducted over the area is less than 260 square kilometers they treated as plane surveying plane surveying is very widely used in survey works conducted for a purpose of engineering projects also so next one is the geodetic surveying the geodetic surveying where the effect of curvature of the earth is taken into account is called geodetic surveying it is also otherwise known as trigonometrical surveying as it involves the knowledge of a trigonometry it is a special branch of surveying in which measurements are taken 
with the high uh, precision instruments and calculations are made with the help of a spherical trigonometry it is generally adopted by a great trigonometrical survey department of india that is also said to be a gts to locate a widely distance control point so when the area is more than 260 square kilometers we can use this geodetic survey in this survey we can <coughs> take the curvature of the earth into account so on next slide you can see uh, this slide you can see a straight lines between a and c have the different value in two different manners in a spherical manner it has a maximum length and a plane distance it, it, it may have a different length so the variation of a spherical and a plane or a geodetic survey or a plane survey can be clearly identified by this figure right thank you